Okay, guys, listen up, please. Listen up. Uh, I've got to try and find nine fit guys to face the Yankees. Uh, so if you're not injured, can you raise your hand, please? Okay. Uh, what if you're not too injured to play? Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, and DeGrom, uh, if you move back to Cabrera Corner, please, mate, you're in the bullpen now. I just can't justify starting you anymore, mate. Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome back to the Detroit Tigers Season 6 Episode 8 today and we are in the second game, about to play the second last game of the regular season against the Yankees and uh, well, believe it or not, if we win, we will qualify for the playoffs and I don't know how we're doing it. We have been absolutely crippled by injuries. Look at this, we have to scroll down to get to all of our injuries. Uh, the devastating one really is Riley Green, five weeks, season over for him, um, that obviously hurts. Uh, Nido is, uh, I mean, he's a a blow because he's a decent backup catcher, but we can live without that. Um, but I mean, look at some of these other names. Tommy Grew was our number one draft pick not that long ago. I mean, that's essentially a career ender for him. 10 to 11 months, it was it's still... I mean, he's still, he's going to miss next season as well at this rate. Uh, JP Crawford is a big blow. Will Klein is a massive blow. Jackson Joe would have been a useful player to have. Um, Otani, if we can get to the postseason, Otani out for another three days, he will be back. So that's going to be a nice lift. Uh, and Penengo, of course, as well, is a, a very useful bat for us. Um, and he's missed uh, most of the season as well. So... I know there's a lot of me going around saying how much I hate this team and they're annoying me and I just, I hate it. I just generally dislike them. I'm kind of proud of them right now because they, we have a crippled team and we're just about doing enough to keep our season alive here. If we're going to have a look and see how we've gotten on. Now, of course, we left off uh, against the Minnesota Twins with a loss. Uh, we then went and, uh, and absolutely swept the uh, Royals. Game two here, 17-5. It's the sort of annoying game that makes you realize what we can do and this was without Riley Green as well and obviously Otani uh, everybody pretty much got hits everybody contributed yeah it was just a really really good performance from us and there's only one home run it's not like we were you know hitting home runs for fun and if we go down look at the pitching walling with the start Mike Ruff had a bit of a rough day to be fair and uh, but yeah it wasn't enough to stop us we were absolutely on fire this day so yeah excellent excellent stuff so that was that. Then we played Cleveland. This was a tough series for us. They are the runaway leaders of the division in the end. Uh, we did take a game off them, but we lost two. Massive series against the White Sox. Uh, we won two of three against them. Then Seattle. Now, we went to Seattle. This gets made me nervous because Seattle is one of the teams behind us in the wild card uh, chase, and we got swept by them, which wasn't ideal. Uh, we've had game one of the Yankees, a massive game for us to win because it essentially now means if we win one of our last two games that we will um, that we'll be going to the postseason. So if we look at the standings here, uh, you can see, as I say, the Guardians in the end have run away with the division. They're the best team in baseball, are they? With the exception of the LA Angels uh, and the LA Dodgers and the Washington Nationals are pretty good as well. But <laughs> apart from that, they're, you know, they are by far and away the best team. Uh, and if we have a look at the wild card race, we can see we're two games away. So if we win, if the Mariners lose, basically, uh, then we'll have guaranteed ourselves uh, a spot in the postseason. Uh, and as for the Yankees, well, they're already eliminated from the, from the uh, for their season so that is uh, excellent news for everybody in terms of the bats um well riley green is going to finish the season as the best batting average because he can't improve it and he's so far ahead it's unlikely anybody's going to catch him vega has fallen away a little bit in terms of home runs now he needs two home runs uh, in the last two games to go second all time for a single season for the tigers so let's hope he can get himself to 50 i think 49 is currently second so if, yeah, if he gets two he'll go to 50 that'll be a nice round number for him as well currently a three-way tie involving vega for uh most RBIs and uh, well CJ Abrams in the end has got his act together because he's uh, 41 stolen bases he's not going to obviously top the division this season um, but it's got us looking forward to next season if we can you know actually hit the ball or get himself on base then we've definitely got ourselves a, a big threat for uh, for a stolen base we're not going to look at pitching numbers because they are very very depressing uh, but actually we are going to look at pitching numbers and we can see them here so I mean it's it's slightly depressing, really. The one thing that I did sort of allude to, DeGrom is now a relief pitcher. I just can't justify starting him. He is just giving up too many runs, and yeah, he's just, I can't do it. So uh, Manoa has moved back into the starting rotation, and DeGrom has basically taken his place in long relief. And um, I put him as a sort of avoid high leverage. So basically, if we're in a situation where we just need someone to just eat innings for us, uh, there's no better man than DeGrom to do that because he's got the stamina of a 
racehorse essentially so yeah so that is that is everybody's numbers um yeah i mean indigo diaz might be being underutilized but i don't know yeah can we say use more often or something i don't know anyway um yeah he's 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 got set putting up some really good numbers only nine innings pitch so it's maybe some little bits of uh something there anyway but it's the batting where we have to look because this is all change essentially you will notice new names dominic keegan as a catcher uh we've also had the call in uh who else monte harrison and james wood uh we'll have a look at all those guys in a second um none of them are particularly excelling with the bat but they're just it's just desperate times basically uh there's not too much to, to point out, to be honest. It's all sort of as you were for the most part. And uh, well, we'll go and have a look at uh, at the new guys now. So the new catcher is, as I say, Dominic Keegan. He is very much here because there's not much else available to us. If we look at his career to date, uh, with the bat anyway, he was doing okay in AAA, having just been called up from AA. So it's a big step up, you know, for him this time of the season. But yeah, I mean, we didn't have that many options, so... Yeah, we've given him uh, given him a chance, which so far he has failed to take. Uh, Monte Harrison is another of the new guys. Now, he is very much, he's a good base runner. He's a good defensive player. And if we're lucky, he might hit a home run. That's essentially all he's got to his, uh, to his batting game. Uh, now, his career here, if we just uh, sort of skim it down to the majors, he is sporadically, I think is a nice way to say it, uh, played in the majors. And... Well, he's doing okay, to be fair. You know, batting 231, he's not getting any walks. If he doesn't hit, he doesn't get on base, essentially. But, as I say, he's here to be a defensive player and let's and just generally a fill-in. Uh, he will probably be the one that goes out when Otani comes back. And the other guy is James Wood. Now, I didn't have any problems calling him in initially because he was doing well in AAA. He's a good player, as we can see from the ratings. Uh, but if we go and have a look at how he's done, uh, well, you can see through his career there, He's never really excelled, you would say, but I thought he would do a little bit better than he has done having come in. He's in a slump now as well. He's only 24, though, so there is uh, there is plenty of time for him long term. Um, so, but, you know, it might be a case. It's going to be either Wood or uh, or Harrison that drops out for Otani, uh, and maybe it will be if neither of them are particularly good with the bat, it might be that Harrison's defensive side uh, keeps him in the side for the postseason should we get there. So that is basically everything caught up on. Um, yeah, let's go and face the uh, the Yankees, and a win should guarantee us a pace a place even in the postseason. On your feet, Tigers fans! As tonight's starting lineup takes the field. At first base, it's Keston Hura. At second base, it's C.J. Abrams. At third base, it's Alo Vera. The shortstop is Jose Lopez. The left fielder is Daniel Cabrera. The center fielder is Kyoto Takazawa. In right field, it's Monte Harrison. The designated hitter is Tony Vega. Behind the plate, it's Dominic Keegan. And the starting pitcher is Gunnar Hogland. All right, so we can see the matchups here, which do not look good for us. But, of course, the Yankees have nothing to play for now. So hopefully they'll play like that. So Abrams will lead us off at second base. Takazawa in a hot streak, bats uh, second in center field. Uh, it's Oriol Vera batting third at third. It is uh, Vega, the designated hitter, bats four. four. It is uh, Keston Hura, the first baseman, that bats five. Cabrera, the, sec uh, the second baseman, the <laughs> left fielder even, bats six. Harrison in right field, bats seven. Lopez, the shortstop, bats eight. Keegan, the catcher for today's game, bats nine. And it is Gunn. Hogland on the uh, on the mound for us. We're up against Casey Miser. Remember that name? Uh, he has an 11-11 record this season, a 408 ERA, which is identical to Hogland, uh, and a whip of uh, 125, which is only 0.1 better than Hogland. So the pitching matchup is very even. A lot of these hitting matchups look quite even as well. But uh, well, let's see how we go. All right, so welcome to Detroit. And a reminder: in the seventh innings uh, stretch, we will be voting on your MVP. Thank you for those who nominated. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll get that ready to go. Uh, hopefully, there's going to be a postseason that we have to worry about, so it's not uh, a massive deal as we start with a strikeout for Hogland. Um, yeah, hopefully that's not going to be an issue. But of course, the issue is uh, when we get to the postseason, what do we have left? And the answer: Oh, oh, what a catch from Lopez! Two away. Uh, yeah, the issue, of course, is what's going to be left when we get there. 
uh, and we have essentially been decimated as uh, Aaron Judge draws a walk. Bringing Torres to the plate, who's batting 271. This season, oh, we've picked him off at first. Hogland, what a legend. Excellent stuff. All right, so Abrams to lead us off. Batting 258 this season. It is a 2 2 pitch. And Abrams grounds at the second base and will be thrown out at first for 108. Brings up Takazawa, batting 272 this season. A first pitch swing. Takazawa looks to lay down a bunt. Is it a good one? Go on, Taka. No. He is thrown out at first as well. And it's Aaron Aral Vera coming up. Al Aloy Vera, I think we should just call him. An 0-2 pitch. And he was batting 261. He's going to be batting 260 now as he walks back to the dugout. So Torres will have a second crack at this. It's a full count. And Hogland walks. Not ideal for the leadoff man. In comes Josh Bell now batting 208 this season. A 1-1 pitch. And that is a ground ball. Oh, and it's bumbled by uh, Hira at first. And suddenly... Without a hit, there's two on, no one out for Volpe, who is batting 238, a 1-0 pitch, and that is through, and that's probably going to open the scoring, is it? Yes, it is. A walk, an error, and then a single, and the Yankees take the lead in the top of the second. Pereira coming in now, batting 239, a 1-2 pitch. We would love a strikeout. We don't get it. Could we get a double play, though? There's one. There is two. Well done from our infield. Two out now with a runner at third. And Mayers to the plate, batting 224. Can we get him out and get out of this? It's deep, it's high into right field. Back goes Harrison, and he's there to make the catch. So we only give up one run in the end. Tony Vega will lead us off, batting 245. Needs RBIs to lead the league in that. You need to swing the bat to get RBIs, mate. And uh, Hero will come in now, batting 273, and very quietly putting in 36 home runs this year. And only five short of 100 RBIs for the season as well. Denny Cabrera now coming in, batting 244. Another 2-2 two -two pitch. Two out, no one on. And Cabrera grounds it to first and out at first. And that will end the second. So we are still 1-0 down. Uh, bro. Brio. Anyway, batting 175. No idea how you say that name, but that doesn't surprise anybody. And he pops one up into uh, right field for a leadoff single. Bringing Vegas back up, who was 0 for 1 today. A 3-1, and that is well hit. And, oh, we can't quite turn a double. But very, very sharp play from Hura at first. Almost makes up for the uh, for the error, that one. Runner goes to second, though. One away for Peraza, who's 0 for 1 today. An 0-2 pitch. And that is lined straight to the second baseman. CJ makes the catch. Two away now for Aaron Judge, who walked last time up. And he has hit that into left field. It drops in. Is that going to score another run? It is. Oh, and is this going down to the final day? Torres, who uh, walked as well. He pops it up. That should be caught. We've got Takazawa in center field. Camps underneath. It makes the catch, but a second run comes across. And we are 2-0 down. Harrison to the plate. Now, Harrison is batting 231 this season. And he gets a walk. Now, as I said at the start, he's quite dangerous on the bases. Can we move him around? Lopez comes in, batting 254. A 1-2 pitch. Lopez gets it into left field. It's going to drop in. Can Harrison go to third? He can. Lopez moves the runner around. So two on, no one out. Runners at the corners for Keegan, who has not ever had a major league hit. Never mind an RBI or anything else. He's popped that up. And Keegan just might be about to get his first Major League RBI. Harrison tags up, goes home, and I think he gets there. He does. Well done, Keegan. What a time to do that. Okay, one on, one out. Abrams to the plate, who's 0 for 1. A 1-2 pitch, and that is going to get through, is it? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And Lopez goes for third and gets there. So one away, runners at the corners. The tying run is 90 feet away. Takazawa to the plate, 0 for 1 today. A first pitch swing, there goes Abrams. He gets there uncontested. A 42nd stolen base of the season for him. And can Takazawa now give us the lead with two in scoring position? No. Oh, he gets there though. An infield hit for Taka. Or Taki, I guess it would be, but it doesn't matter. Vera now comes in. Come on, Ali Vera. 
And he has sent that deep. Now, is it deep enough to score the runner from third and tie the game? Lopez tags. He goes, and I think he's going to get there. He does. So, another sack fly. It is 2-2 two -two with two away, and Vega to the plate. He's 0 for 1 today. Vega hits it into left field, and it is caught. Unlucky. And they've had to take him out of the game after the catch. But we're tied at 2 after 3. Hogland to face Bell, who's 0 for 1. It's a full count. And it is popped up. Harrison is there. And that should be a very simple catch. And it is 1 away. In comes Volpe now, who is 1 for 1 today. With an RBI as well. It's another full count. 1 out, no one on. And it is another walk. All right, Willie Adams comes in now, pinch hitting, batting 233 this season. That'll be for the injured left fielder, and he strikes out. Excellent stuff. Two away for Mayers, who's 0 for 1. Still with a runner at first, and we've hit him with an 0-2 pitch. That's silly. Two on, two out now for Bro, who is 1 for 1. A 1-0 pitch, a ground ball to the shortstop, Lopez to second, and that'll do it for the fourth. All right, we'll go and have a bat. Hura will lead us off. He is 0 for 1 today. And a first pitch swing, and Hura and Miser. Oh, well, they would never have played together, would they? Because it's Hura's first season with us. Apparently, they don't get on. Cabrera now comes in to face his old mate, Miser. And that is a double play ball. Oh, well, luckily, it's just one. So, one out runner at first now for Harrison, who is uh, 0 for 0 today. Sack fly from him. Was it sack fly from him last time anyway? He's going to get double played up there, and that will end the fourth. Well, that's disappointing, isn't it? All right. Vega. Oh, Vegas, sorry, to face uh, Hogland. He is 0 for 2 today. It's an 0-1 pitch, and that is into left field, and it's going to drop in for a hit as Cabrera gets it in, but it is a leadoff single for the Yankees. It is Pereza now who's 0 for 2. A first pitch swing. A bunt. Can we get them out at second? No. Can we get the out at first? Yes. So one away. But the man is at second base. Aaron Judge to the plate. An 0-1 pitch. A ground ball. Hura has it. Pitcher covers. Two away. Runner to third. So it comes down to this. Torres to the plate. 0 for 1 today. A 1-1 pitch. A ground ball. That should be out at first. Oh, He's rushed it. Hogland has rushed it. It's a second error. And it scores a run. So we are behind again. Bell comes up now. 0 for 2 today. An 0-2 pitch. That's a cracker. What a pitch from Hogland. But it's too late to prevent the run. We are behind once more. And Jose Lopez will lead us off. 1 for 1 today. A first pitch swing. And, and that, I'll tell you what. Lopez is finding the corners brilliantly this uh, last month or so of the season. And he leads us off with a double. Excellent, excellent hitting from our shortstop. A 30th double of the season. And it is Keegan coming in. He got his first career RBI last time around. This time, he advances the runner. Well done, Dom. So one out, runner at third. Abrams, can he tie the game? He's one for two today. It's a first pitch swing. Abrams grounds it to first base. And it will tie the game. 3-3, three, three. two out now, no one on for Takazawa, who is one for two. An 0-1 pitch, and Takazawa gets hit. So he'll go to first. He's not really a stealing threat. He's fast, but he's terrible stealer. Vera comes up. He is an RBI, and he strikes out there to end the fifth, tied at three. The only thing that's not tied is errors, which we're winning, so go us. Volpe comes up now, one for one today. A first pitch swing. And a ground ball to the third baseman. Is that... Who's at third? Oh, Vera. And that is uh, out at first for one away. Alec Thompson, Thomas comes in now. Uh, he is batting 274. Now, he must have come in defensively uh, into the game. And he strikes out for two away. And it brings Mayers to the plate, who is 0 for 1. Two out, no one on. A 2-0 pitch and a ground ball. He got a good jump out of the box. Vera's throw is not in time. So a two-out single. Bringing Bro to the plate, who is one for two. Can Hogland end this inning here, please? And thank you. A full count, a ground ball, and that is out at first. To end the inning as I requested. So top of the sixth is done. Still we're tied at three. And Vega will lead us off 0 for two today. It's a 2-1 pitch. Vega has popped it up. Center field barely has to. Look at that. Strolling casually over and makes the catch. So Vega is retired. Hura, who's 0 for one now. An 0-2 pitch on him. 
Keston Hura swings through strike three and goes and takes a seat. Bringing it is uh, Cabrera now who is over two to face Miser. A 2-2 two -two pitch. And a ground ball but straight to the first baseman. And when did Miser learn to pitch like this? So we go to the seventh. Litwicky will come in for Hogland, who goes six, giving up. Uh, well, he gave up three, but I don't know how many of those are going to be earned, actually. Uh, so uh, Vargas to the plate. He's one for three. And let's see what Litwicky can do. A 1 0. A ground ball. No, it's a bit more than that. It's through the left side of the field, and it is a leadoff single. Haraza now to face Litwicky. He is 0 for 2. A 2 1. And it's a poor bunt that is popped up. And it is caught by Vera for one away. Aaron Judge now to face Litwicky. An 0-1 pitch. There goes the runner. There goes the runner indeed. Thief is caught. Keegan behind the plate with a throw. And it is two out. No one on now for Judge with a 1-2 pitch. Have some of that, Judge. And, uh, well, we go to the seventh. We stretch. And you vote. So it dawned on me as I was editing that we don't actually need to do the vote today because it's going to be at least one more game and that could be either the final game of the regular season or indeed uh, it will, we will go into the wildcard series. So it'll be a final call for MVP nominees. Currently we have Hura and Otani nominated. Uh, so final call if you have somebody else you'd like to see uh, as an MVP nominee, make sure you let me know in the comments of course and uh, we'll vote next episode um, because yeah, if we have to face the final day of the season then we could end and if not uh, we're in the wildcard regular season's done and i think that's where mvp should be voted upon so let me know all right so the bottom of the seventh harrison to lead us off he is 0 for 1 today it's a full count can he get himself on base no he can't one away and that'll do it for miser jordan montgomery comes on to face lopez who is two for two today a one two pitch a left-handed pitcher now as well which doesn't always suit us and lopez strikes out for two away bringing keegan to the plate can he get a first career hit? It's a 3-0. He gets himself a walk. Might be a first career walk, actually. I don't know. <laughs> All right. CJ Abrams now. He's one for three. Can he keep this inning going for us? No, he can't. He's tied in a knot. And we'll go to the eighth. Tied at three. Litwicky to face Torres, who is 0 for 2. It's a 2-0 pitch. And Litwicky gets the pop-up. Cabrera walks in casually. One away. All right, Josh Bell now, 0 for 3. A 3-1 three pitch and a walk. Litwicky has improved his control, but obviously it's still not that great. Uh, Volpe now, who is 1 for 2. And a strikeout. Oh, that was a good pitch too. Just sucked him in. And it brings Thomas to the plate, and he's going to face Holden Powell. So a good outing from Litwicky. Can Powell get us out of the inning? It's a full count. Two out. Runner at first. Come on, Holden. Yes, he can. All right, we'll go and bat in the bottom of the eighth. Tied at three. Takazawa to the plate. He is one for two today. A first pitch swing. Takazawa hits it into the right field and it drops in for a leadoff single. All right, Vera now, who is 0 for 2. A 1-2 pitch. Vera strikes out. One away. In comes Vega. Now, he does love a lefty. He's 0 for 3 today. Can we see something of him? Oh, there's a loose pitch. Takazawa goes for second. Can Vega now give us a lead? It's a 2-2 pitch, and Vega strikes out. Two away. Heston Cura. No, Keston Hura even. 0 for 2 today. A first pitch swing. No, they've walked him. They've walked him because they don't respect you, Cabrera. And it's actually a change of pitcher. Uh, Losque comes in now. ERA of 5.55 for him this season. Two out, two on. Come on, Denny. First pitch swing. Come on, Cabrera. Give us a lead, mate. Oh, he's popped it up. And that'll take us to the ninth. Still tied at three. Oh, it's nervous, nervous times. Powell to face Myers now, who is one for two. It is a 2-1 pitch. It is popped up. And it is caught by the second baseman, Abrams. One away. Brogue comes up to the plate. He is one for three today. A 1-1 pitch. And that is a ground ball. It should be easy enough. Just put your foot on the base, man. It really is. <laughs> oh, it's an infield hit. One on, one out for Vargas, who is uh, two for four today. A 3-1. Oh, and it's a walk. And there's two on now. Come on, Holden. You're better than this, mate. Oh, and it's Logan Gillespie coming in. Our closing pitcher, I don't know why I'm disappointed. He is a ERA of 333. He's a good pitcher. 
It's uh, probably the first we've seen of him on YouTube. We need him to come up big for us. It's a 1-1 one, one pitch. One out, two on. Top of the ninth. Oh, and it could be a double play. No, it's just one. So runners go to second and third. It is Aaron Judge. It's probably the one guy we wouldn't want at the plate in this situation, isn't it? He's one for three today. Can Gillespie sitting down? It's a 2-2 two -two pitch. It's popped up. It's deep. Takazawa's going back. It's not leaving, though, I don't think. And Takazawa ends the inning. Bottom of the ninth, tied at three, a win. Well, it could give us a postseason berth, or it could just keep our season alive. And James Wood is coming in to pinch hit for uh, Harrison. Wood batting 154 this season. A 3-1, and Wood, oh, he does get himself on base. Well done, James Wood. A leadoff single. All right, we should be pinch running now and get uh, Xavier Edwards on there. Anyway, Lopez comes up. He is two for three today. A one-two pitch, and he strikes out. Are we going to pinch hit Keegan? No, he's going to bat. He's 0 for 1 today. 0 for 8 in his career. A first pitch swing, and Keegan! Oh, he's robbed! Absolutely robbed in left field of a first career hit. And with two out, it is Abrams at the plate. He's one for four. Can he keep this inning alive? Or are we going to extra innings? Abram, it is caught, and we are going to extra inning. Oh, Gillespie will face Torres now. He is 0 for 3 today. It's an 0-1 pitch. And it is a ground ball, and it should be out at first. It is. Now, did Woods come in to play right field? I'm assuming he did. So that's fine. Bell, 0 for 3. A 2-2 pitch from Gillespie. And there's a strikeout. Two away. All right. Volpe now. One for three today. It's a 2-2 pitch. Two out. No one on. Top of the 10th. A ground ball. Lopez has it. Lopez the first. We'll go and have a bat. All right. It's almost the top of the order. So it's uh, Catalina coming in now. Batting, uh, four, uh, batting ERA of 4-15. Takazawa, who's two for three at the plate. It's a 2-2 pitch. And can Taka get us, get us a base runner here? Oh, he's done his best, but uh, no luck there. One away. Vera now, who's 0 for 3. It's a 2-0 pitch. Can Vera get himself on base? Vera! It's deep! It's not going to be deep enough, though. And there will be a simple catch in the end in right field. And it is Vega now coming up. 0 for 4. Come on, Tony. It's an 0-2 pitch. And Vega will end at the bottom of the 10th. We go to the 11th. It's Indigo Diaz. Now, I said he was underutilized. Let's hope that that's the case. Thomas will come into bat. 0 for 2 today. Diaz, an ERA under 1, which always makes you a little bit nervous that uh, he's about to blow that up. But uh, first pitch, pop up, 1 away. Excellent ratio. Cabrera makes the catch. And uh, it's another pinch hit, and is it? Yes, it is. It's uh, Yendry Rojas, who's here, uh, batting, sorry, I should say, 296 this season. It's a 3 1 pitch. And it is popped up again. And Takazawa this time is there. Two away. Diaz will face Bro now, who is two for four. A 1 2 pitch. And a strikeout for Indigo. And we will go to the bottom of the 11th. That was actually quite good from Diaz there, wasn't it? Hurat will lead us off. He is 0 for 2 today. It's a first pitch swing. Come on, Keston. Hurat grounds it up the middle. Is it going to be awkward enough? Is it going to be awkward enough? No, it's not. It's uh, a comfortable out in the end. Cabrera, 0 for 4. Come on, Denny, man. You don't want to go 0 for 5. It's a 2-2 pitch. Cabrera grounds it to the third baseman. He will go 0 for 5. And it brings James Wood to the plate. He is one for one today. It's a one-two pitch. Come on, Jimmy boy. No. We go to the 12th. No one had anything to do today, did they? It's Vargas to face Diaz. Vargas is two for four. It's a two-two pitch. And it is a ground ball. And it is an infield hit. Lead-off single. Diaz to face Peraza now, who's 0 for 4. A 1-0 pitch. Peraza looks to lay down a bunt. And it's a successful one. The runner goes to second with one away. And it's Aaron Judge now to face Diaz. Judge is 1 for 4. It's a 0-2 pitch. It's a ball up the middle, and that might give them the lead. Takazawa, can he stop the run? No, he can't. And in the top of the 12th, the Yankees take a one-run lead. 
Torres now will face Reese Olsen, who comes in. ERA for him this season of 386, and that might be a double play. One, two. But we go to the 12th, and we need a run. At least a run. It is Blake Taylor coming in to pitch for them. ERA of 225, and Xavier Edwards belatedly comes into the game. He comes into the game for Lopez, and he is batting 267 this season. It is an 0-1 pitch. And Xavier Edwards runs. Xavier, he's quick, but he's not that quick. One away. All right, Keegan will bat. He is 0 for 2 today. It's a 2-2 pitch. Oh, dear. He watches it. Two away. And it's a CJ Abrams now, our final out. Oh, we're about to lose to the Yankees and take this down to the final day. Oh, we are. We are. We are. So coming into the final day of the regular season, this is how it's going to look for us. Jesus Christ. There's ourselves, the Royals, and the Mariners all within a game of each other. So if we beat the Yankees on the final day, we will be going to the postseason. If we don't, it might be okay, but the Mariners are going to have a head-to-head -head over us. I'm almost certain, although I don't know if it goes to a playoff. It might go to a playoff. Um... We've just got to beat the Yankees. That's all it comes down to. It's going to be Eknes that's on the mound for us. Now, his recent form, uh, he's he's in a bit of a slump. But he is a good pitcher. We've seen that from him. We just need him to come up, turn up, and just pitch a blinder. That's all we need him to do. Just pitch a blinder. It's unsurprising, I don't think, that it's we just didn't have the bats to get the runs there. Um, it's just how it is. We just don't have the bats right now. We are crippled with injuries. But if we can get ourselves to the postseason, Otani comes back. And it might liven us up a little bit. But there you go. If you've enjoyed that, thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next time for the final day of the regular season. Let me know in the comments. Are we going to do it? Take care.